you did in fact read the title correctly. I'm going to show you the full ICT based strategy that I'm going to use to take $500 and turn it into $100,000 in the next six months. I'm going to be doing this with the use of prop firms as well as creating a track record with Darwin X and attracting private investors hopefully as well. I document every single trade that I take before I take it in the free Telegram trading room that is linked below in the description. So join it, it's completely free and you can follow along with my progress in there. So in just a second, I'm going to show you the four step process to getting into trades with this system and basically show you how the entire strategy works in this video. It's gonna be a longer one, but you need to follow every single step in order to make it work. One step builds upon the next step, builds upon the next step, builds upon the next step. Four steps in total to get profitable using the strategy. Once again, I recommend that you guys back test. There are lots of tools to do that. You can do it within TradingView. You can also use tools like FX Replay, which I really like to collect data. I think there's a discount code in the description. Now I must, stress to you guys that this strategy is not actually my own strategy. It's a strategy that I learned from Scott Taylor from Evolution Markets. If you want to learn the full thing with the full course and join their community, the link is in the description below. Um, again, not my strategy, but I absolutely love it because it's a higher time frame strategy. That means that I don't need to be on the charts all day. I can set alerts and go about my day and do the things I need to do. Enough jibber jabber, let's hop in and have a look at the full trading system. Step one, two, three, and four to getting into trades using this ICT based strategy. All right, so the first most important and basically the foundation of this entire strategy is the market momentum and market structure. Like a lot of strategies, market structure is pretty damn important, okay? So what you need to know is this. Momentum is confirmed when I have two breaks of structure to the bullish side or the bearish side. Now, the higher high is only confirmed when the most recent high or low is broken, okay? Let me show you what I mean by this on this diagram. So here you can see price has come down here and then retraced, okay, which did what? Create structure here, all right? We then came down and completely broke that structure, all right? Then we retraced once again, okay? And how do we confirm that this is a retracement enough to confirm this as the low? We can confirm the low when we've retraced enough, okay, to relative to this previous retracement leg. So if we've retraced more than 50%, okay, the size of this leg, we can confirm that this is the low. So we can confirm the low once we've retraced enough relative to this previous to this previous um, level. We can then mark on this as a low and simply wait for that low to be taken out which it does eventually do okay and then we can confirm this as the lower high okay so because we've had these two breaks to the downside like i've just shown you right here and right here we've had okay firstly this first break here okay so that's number one and then we've had the second break here and so that would confirm my momentum to be bearish okay and on the lower time frame so say we're in within this leg of price we would only be taking uh, setups with that momentum all right but how do we confirm that this has now switched from bearish to bullish okay so essentially how we can now confirm this as bullish is once we break the previous lower high we can then we can then start to look okay for price to retrace once again relative to the previous retracement okay so this would be the previous sorry this here would be the previous retracement that we would be looking at so if this is more than 50 percent of that then cool we can then mark this on as the as the high confirmed because remember price can always break this retrace a tiny bit and continue onwards and we would not call that a high because we've not retraced enough if you understand what i'm trying to say okay so once we've retraced enough we can mark this on as the high and wait for it to be broken and we do eventually get that break 
okay and then once we get the break we confirm this higher low okay um, we then create a new high and then we retrace once again okay which this high is only confirmed once we retrace enough relative to this previous retracement okay remember that and then we break that once again and what does that do okay that tells me a few things it tells me that the momentum overall momentum of the market is bullish now and the easy way to do this is to do it like i did so you mark all of the swing points when you are bearish so you break the swing point once you break the swing point and you retrace we can then mark it with a red dot we have these red dots to the downside so one two to confirm a bearish momentum and we need one two highs to confirm a um, momentum to the upside and that's essentially how i mark up market momentum all right and essentially what this would mean in a nutshell is that essentially within so when price starts to retrace like so what we can expect is for price to respect this higher low and um, trade between this range okay and i'm going to show you exactly how we trade in this range using pd arrays etc etc that are coming up in the coming um, sections of this video so the next section is exactly that premium and discount arrays pd arrays right and we use the gan box for this all right now the gan box tool is simply this and and by the way guys yes i'm showing you this on um on diagrams right now but i'm going to put it all together and show you on the charts in a, in a few moments how to put all of these concepts together and that should clarify everything a lot so this might seem like a lot of information right now but listen very carefully, watch it multiple times if you need to. And then at the end, I'm going to go onto real charts, put it all together and show you how it works. All right. Of the markets, it's a it's a lens to look at the markets through and understand it in a much more clear way. Right. So let me get back to this. Essentially, we've got um, the exact same diagram. OK, we were our momentum was uh, bearish. All right and then we went bullish now like i showed you in the previous example what happens when we've had okay two breaks to the upside so we've had one break here okay no i lie we've had one break here okay there's number one we then came up once again here and we've had two breaks okay so what does that do it confirms my momentum is bullish okay so what does that do that lets us hypothesize that essentially when we start to retrace here we can start to draw on our gan box tool which is going to allow us to determine what premium and discount is and which zones we want to be trading in all right so this is how it works when price starts to retrace we take from the most recent higher low to the most recent high Okay, and obviously in a bearish example, it would be from the most recent lower high and the most recent low. So it would be like this, okay? And in this case, we would draw it from the high low, um, sorry, lower high, and then we would draw it to the top, okay? To this most recent high, okay? But only once we have retraced enough relative to this previous leg of price remember if we've only retraced this much and we've got had this as a previous retracement this could easily just continue like this and we cannot consider this to be equal to this okay we need to have at least 50 percent of this okay so once we get to this point which is about if you eyeball it about 50 percent of that we can then mark this on as the high and then obviously what we are hypothesizing is that price is going to trade within these levels and continue the pattern and take out the highs now let me show you how i set up my gan box tool now the gan box tool icon looks like this okay and these are my settings for it so i simply use the zero the one the 0 0.5 
And then I've also got the 0 0.55 and the 0 0.45. Now this is my no trade zone, an area of indecision. All right. So as you can see, if I zoom in here, this is what it would look like. All right. So let me get rid of this. So premium is up here. This is premium and this is discount. And this is where we don't want to be trading. Okay, that is an indecision zone. So what happens when the price of PS4s drop, PS5s now, what happens when they drop? People want to buy, okay? But when they go up, people want to sell, okay? Because they're more valuable, okay? What happens when the price of Rolexes go up? Uh, people wanting to sell them and take profits. What happens when the price of Bitcoin goes up? People want to sell and take profits. It's the same concept with all, you know, the, the entire economy, essentially. So that that's what we want to do. We hypothesize because we've had these two breaks of structure towards the upside um, on the higher time frames. All right. On the four hour again, this is again on the four hour that I do this. The hypothesis is that we're going to retrace into a discounted zone, okay? We're going to retrace into a discounted zone. And then we're going to look, obviously, for the candlestick patterns that I'm going to show you within this zone. If we are trading within this zone, here, we do not take any trades, all right? And then if we are within this zone here, okay, we could potentially look for sells if we are, our momentum is bearish however there is a caveat there is another uh, exception to this if we are in this zone okay and we have had a significant amount of momentum created on this leg of price okay and i'll show you exactly how to determine that in a mechanical way if we've had a significant amount of of a move this way which is is classified by the candles we can then actually skip that and buy here as long as our momentum okay is bullish as long as we've had this one two breaks to the upside we can buy here if we've had a significant enough of a move okay which i will show you how to determine in this video all right so let me show you exactly how that works and how to determine what the higher time frame bias is. We already know how to determine the higher time frame structure and momentum, but I'm going to show you how to determine the third key, which is so those of you who are keen on trading prop firms, but looking for the most reliable one out there, the one that I suggest is Blue Guardian. I've withdrawn almost $20,000 with this prop firm and i can honestly say that they are the most reliable and trustworthy prop firm out there to get 10 percent off your challenge use the code gar trades when buying your next challenge with blue guardian which is the higher time frame bias okay now there's nothing wrong with trading ict's higher time frame bias i just prefer using these candlestick patterns to allow me to determine um how things work in a much more mechanical way now what i use for this is the fractal indicator which is this one here i believe it's called fractals by rachel t okay so if we go to indicators and we search for fractal okay it is this one here fractal highs and lows by rachel t okay that's the one that i use all right and I use these arrows just to show you what the fractals look like. Of course, let me show you what it would look like on a chart with that fractals by Rachel T indicator. As you can see, this is what fractals look like. You can see that when a fractal is printed like so, okay, we would be looking for an interaction with this fractal. Now, if this interaction with this fractal is, for example, a candle like this, it's just a bearish candle that breaks beyond this. We are what we would call unconfirmed. Our bias is unconfirmed. But if the second candle closes to be bullish, we are now okay, 
confirmed no follow through this means that we've broken but we've come straight back up and that means that there is still some pressure to go long and as we can see the market did push this way all right so that is the first one which is let me show you one second which is no follow through okay and that would be this pattern right here this this is a bearish example so say our fractal printed here and the market closes above that fractal okay like so we are then what unconfirmed okay we then wait for the next candle to close the next four hour candle to close this is all on the four hours still once it closes bearish like so we can now confirm that we are no follow through which means that the market is going to go down in this case because this is a bearish example all right obviously we would invert this for a bullish example now this here is the second example of a no follow through for our bias okay so we've had a fractal print and the interaction with the fractal is as follows price comes up and wicks that fractal and closes back below this is also a confirmed no follow through and the market is likely to go down okay and what we would then look for is on the 15 minute time frame for our pattern to enter shorts okay provided we are in a what so if we're looking for shorts we would need to be in a premium zone okay to sell we would also like to see the momentum being what bearish which would also mean what two breaks to the downside on the four hour time frame okay i hope you guys are seeing how all of these steps start to fit together and i'm going to show you how they all work together once i reveal the entry criteria to this but there's still more to learn about bias so let me show you the bias okay so the next is follow through and follow through can look two like two different scenarios okay so what we can have is for example this example we have a no follow through like this and this no follow through can turn into follow through okay so as we can see here let's say i delete this we've got what exactly this no follow through but then this next candle prints and it invalidates our no follow through and essentially what a no what a, what a follow through so this would then become follow through okay and essentially what this means is that um it tried to go lower but it failed and the market is now going to you know our bias would now be bullish in this example okay so a follow through is um, categorized in these two examples so we've had this which happened we would then be unconfirmed we would then print a red candle okay um, a bearish candle which would then confirm it as no follow through this bullish candle would then print and break the high okay and close here okay bullish that once this candle closes above here we are then changing our bias from no follow through to follow through i hope that makes sense so we go from no follow through to follow through if this bearish candle does not continue to push downwards on the on the next candles but instead goes up and breaks the high and closes like that okay the other example is obviously this no follow through where it wicks it and closes below the fractal and then the next candle just pushes straight through that and closes above that means follow through and in this case the market would go up obviously if you invert this whole pattern um, it would be a bearish example okay but once again we would take into account the other factors we need to know firstly the entry the entry criteria needs to happen within session we also need to make sure that the momentum is with us and that we are in if we are buying a premium zone or in a discounted zone if sorry if we're buying we are sorry cut that out um if we are buying we are buying in a discounted zone if we are selling we're in a premium zone as determined by the gan box tool which i just showed you okay i'm also going to show you how to draw that on the charts in a second 
Now, this is the exception to the rule, which is strong follow through. Now, what strong follow through allows you to do is ignore the GAN box tool. Okay. Um, and what do I mean by this? So let's go back to the previous drawing. Firstly, so if we have a firstly, what is strong follow through? Strong follow through is simply when firstly, the first candle closes above. It must be a, a close, not a wick. It must close full body close above the most recent fractal, which would leave us at what unconfirmed, right? We would then have a second candle consecutive directly afterwards also close body close above this fractal once we've got that we've got confirmed strong strong follow through okay what does this mean it means we don't need to wait for price to go into a premium and discount so in this example it's a bullish we can buy straight away in premium and we can buy in discount okay it also means that we can sell counter to this now in this video i'm not going to go through counter trends too much um, if you would like to know how to trade the market in a counter trend market i can create a separate video on that and let me know in the comments down below if you would be interested in doing that where we can literally learn to trade against the bias okay given some extra rules um but like I said, the highest probability is trading with the bias and with the momentum. Okay, so let's go back to strong follow through. Strong follow through means that we can buy in premium. Okay, even though the prices are high, we can still buy in premium. Why? Because there's just so much momentum. We've had price close, body close, and then body close once again straight afterwards above this fractal. Okay, and what does this mean? It means that... Let me show you on this, on this diagram. So say here we've had price. So, so this is the most recent fractal here. Uh, let me show you. So say this is the most recent fractal here. Okay. And we've had price do this. Say this is the candles. This is a green one. Okay, we've had price do this. Okay. We've had price close above, not with a wick, with the body, and then close above that again with a body. So two bear bullish candles that close above this fractal. Okay. What that means is that we do not wait need to wait for price. We do not need to wait for price to go into discount to buy. We can buy in premium as well as discount and we can totally ignore this indecision zone why because we can see that there's just so much momentum we've had two body closes okay above that are consecutive now it's important to note one thing okay we cannot have and they must be directly after each other we cannot have this as a scenario for example for a strong follow-through we cannot have a wick close then have two body closes straight afterwards. This is still a follow through. We must have this. We cannot have a wick close. We must have a full body close with a full body close straight afterwards. And that is strong follow through. All right. I hope that makes sense. Um, again, I must stress that this is a very quick run through of the strategy. If you want to learn the strategy in depth, um, you can have a look, for example, I'm going to be trading it more and more often. So maybe you can pick it up by me, um, doing backtesting videos, etc., etc. But if you want to learn it properly, um, again, this is not my strategy. Um, there is a link in the, uh, the bio to the original community that teaches the strategy uh, that is really mechanical and really amazing. Um, so I would check that out um, if you want to learn this properly. Um, if you don't want to do that, though, that's also OK. You can learn from this completely free um, and I'll continue to do content on this as well. Um, so the next and final step is the entry. So the entry we enter on the 15 minutes. All right. An entry is only considered within these timings. It is GMT plus zero time frame. Okay, so the the the, the time um, the time settings on your um, on your time is GMT plus zero. 
and London session is 8 to 10 GMT plus zero. The New York session is 1.30 to 3.30 GMT plus zero as well. Now, the indicator I use to mark this up is um, FX market session. Okay, so this, this one here, if you type in FX market sessions, it is this one here by Boy Toki, this one here. Okay, you choose that and here are my settings. Here we go. So I use session one and session two and it's the timings, eight to 10 o'clock. Again, it's on GMT plus zero. It must be on GMT plus zero. This tells you the, how many, how many, how far back you'll be able to see, okay? So you'll be able, be able to see five days back of this if I look at the charts right now. You can have it set to one if you only want to see today's, all right? Um, I use London time and New York time only, so just these two boxes are checked. Uncheck all of these other ones down here for session four and session three. Only use these two sessions, and the timing is eight to 10 and 1.30 to 3.30, okay? And then you can, click no for all of these and click no for all of these. And then you can change your settings uh, for the colors. Mine's just set to white, okay? Really simple. And that's basically it, okay? Um, so that is, that is it. Now I need to explain how the entries work on the lower time frame. Again, the 15 minute is where we take entries, okay? And entry criteria is basically this, a sweep of the most recent fractal or the outer range fractal within one of these market sessions. Okay, that's it. So, once you've got these FX market sessions on your chart, this is how it's going to look. Right, so it will look something like this. So you can see here, I'm on the 15 minute time frame, which is my execution time frame. Here is London, it's just simply a box, and New York, it's a box. And so we're only taking trades within these boxes. Anything outside of the box, like here, here, it's not valid. I can consider this here, this candle on the line of the box, and I can consider this candle here on this line of the box. Anything beyond this, I do not see. It doesn't exist to me, all right? And the same for here, obviously, okay? So that's number one. Number two, what am I looking for for an entry, okay? so. We're going to take concepts one, two, three, and four together. This is what I'm looking for for an entry. I'm looking for, and this is before I look for an entry. I'm looking for the momentum bias, okay, which we spoke about in, um, in concept number one. So go back to concept number one if you've forgotten what momentum bias is. We are then looking at the um, higher time frame, okay, the higher time frame bias, which is those candle patterns that determine um, with the interaction of the fractals, what the directional bias is on the higher time frame. So higher time frame, um, directional bias, okay. Okay. And the first is the momentum bias. The second is the higher time frame directional bias. We are then looking for premium and discount, okay. Okay, which is the third factor to look at, which I've also explained. Okay, and then obviously we're looking for our entry, which is the fourth thing that we spoke about. Okay, um, which is the a sweep of a fractal. So let me show you what that would look like. Alrighty, so here's an example of a potential entry. Um, I have not looked at the overall momentum and the overall uh, directional bias like I just previously mentioned all right this is just simply for the entry so as we can see in new york time what has happened okay we can see that the market opened okay what do we have here we've got a previous fractal low right here okay and within session the sweep needs to happen within this box okay it needs to happen like i said i'm not even considering anything before this except for the fractal structure which is here okay now if for example price swept here before this box and then continued on then i would not consider that i only consider a sweep so if there's a sweep before session then it's completely invalidated all right we would then look for a new one to print like this 
and wait for that to be taken off. But in this case, we had price sweep this fractal that was printed. So a, print, a fractal can be printed outside of session, but it, it must be swept within session like it has here. And then this is what happens. We place our entry at the top of the candle that's swept. It's as easy as that. We place a buy stop at the top of the candle that's swept. Okay, so let me show you what that would look like. So we'd place it right there. And our stop would be just below the wick, but I give a one pip buffer. So, and round it up to the nearest pip. So if we round up to the nearest pip, it's five pips and we add an extra, so that's six pips. So my position would look like this and we are targeting one to three every time. Okay. And this is what it looks like. Okay, this one obviously works out. Like I said, I haven't looked at all of the other ingredients for this particular trade. I'm just showing you an example of what an entry could look like. I'm now going to put together all four of these concepts and show you exactly what it looks like in a real trade scenario. Alrighty, so we are on the charts now and we're going to look at an example of this. Um, so as we can see, the market has taken out this low. Okay, it retraced, took out this low, continued lower, retraced. Again, this retracement is okay it's comparable to this previous retracement okay and once we retrace we can confirm this as the low and then once we break the low we can confirm this as the higher low okay we then are looking for price to continue this pattern but it doesn't okay so what happens it actually takes out this higher low over here Okay, we still cannot confirm this as bullish. Okay, we're still bearish on this until we get what? So this is the first break here. Okay, this is break number one. Okay, we then break once again here and have break number two. What does that mean? It means we're now bullish. Okay, we respected this higher low. We put in a new high. Okay, we retraced, created a new higher low. Okay. Why, why is this a higher low? Because we took out the high. Once we take out the high, this becomes the confirmed higher low. All right. So we've actually got one, two, and another high here. Okay. So we can mark this on as the high. Why? Because we've retraced mm, almost halfway of this retracement and this retracement. You can see this is pretty sizable to this and this. Okay. It's just almost half of this, a bit over half of this and this. Okay. So that's why I'm going to mark this as the high. We are then going to do the second step. Okay, after we've figured out the momentum, what is the momentum of the market? It is bullish. Why? Because we've had one, two breaks to the upside. Our momentum is bullish. Okay, we're now going to figure out the overall market bias. Okay, and how do we figure out what our higher time frame market bias is? we are going to look at the interaction of the previous fractal high. Now, the previous fractal high would be this here, okay, from this low to this high, okay, that's where we would have drawn this. And as you can see, price retraced back into a discounted price, bought up into premium, and then sold from premium into discount once again, and then bought up and took out the high. That's all we're doing, buying into discount, um, selling into discount, buying into premium. All right. So we can see how well that works here in this example. Um, and then once we take this out, once we break out of this box, we are then looking for the way it breaks out of this GAN box. How did this break? So our higher time frame um, bias is determined by the way it breaks out of this box. It broke out with a candle body close, which would then leave us with an unconfirmed bias because we still need to see what the next candle does. Okay, what does the next candle do? It closes with another bullish candle above this high. And that is a strong, that is a strong follow through, okay? That is terrible drawing, but it is a strong follow through, all right? What does strong follow through mean? Strong follow through means this. And I'm sure I hope you guys can answer this on your end of the screen. Strong follow through means that when we draw our GAN box from this new from this to this new high, why is this a new high? It's a new high because we have retraced enough relative to these 
previous retracements okay it's almost half um just a little bit over half of these two retracements okay um and so this is now our high and we're going to mark on the gan box from our most recent higher low okay sorry lower high um to our high okay and this is wh where our range is this is our dealing range on the four hour okay and i'm just gonna make sure it's perfectly on because we've got what our higher time frame bias is firstly a strong follow-through okay it's because this was the previous range that it broke out of with a bullish candle and another bullish candle closed above a body break and another body closure okay it's now strong follow-through okay this means what if we have a bullish momentum as well which we do have why because we've had one two and a third break i only need two breaks to confirm it as a bullish momentum this means that we can buy anywhere in premium and buy anywhere in discount as well and we can completely ignore this basically anywhere in sorry anywhere in this box is fine okay so let's go down to the 15 minute and see if we can find an entry right first thing i must be clear about as we can see in london here we took a loss all right we took a loss why again we can buy anywhere in this premium zone okay we swept here we continued down which what is an extended sweep extended sweep is simply this we have the initial sweep and we have another candle close below um, we have another candle wick or close below as long as the next candle um, goes below this candle we can move our position to this next candle because remember we are entering on the top of this candle okay we then have another candle go below this one okay without triggering our order and it closes like that so then our, our entry would be moved to this next candle okay and our stop would be below it gets triggered our stop loss gets hit okay so that would be a loss for us with this strategy and my back testing i have discovered that we have about a 50 percent win rate okay and so what that means is it's like flipping a coin if you hit heads you make three thousand dollars if you hit tails you lose a thousand dollars i think that's a pretty good deal if you ask me um, and that's essentially the way i see it now this next trade um, happens in new york session we create this fractal outside of session this fractal low it sweeps okay what do we do our entry would be set at the top of the candle that swept okay how we could have had an extended sweep what would an extended sweep look like another candle that that uh, goes below this without setting off our limit we would then move this sorry not limit buy stop we would then move our buy stop to this next candle with our stops one pip below okay um, in this case i don't think it happens um, we will place our order here okay and our stop loss one pip below the low okay so just like so and we always look for one to three risk reward all right and we set and forget it all right um the only time we take it off is if it goes lower we can then adjust it for an extended sweep all right and also if we go outside of session we will then delete this order um if it gets triggered within session we will just leave it to run even if it takes another day or so doesn't matter usually they're closed before the day is finished uh in some cases you have to hold overnight but that's in some remote cases so the next candle triggers this order and we would just leave it we would not have gone break even we always just leave the trade on all right never go break even okay so there you go this can this trade would be a win okay so yeah net we would be up two thousand dollars if we were doing a 100k prop firm account so that is the strategy i'm going to be using to take five hundred dollars to a hundred thousand dollars 
in the next six months. Seriously, it's that simple. And I've given you the entire strategy. Um, go through all of the steps, test it out for yourself on maybe FX replay. I think there's a code in the description for a discount somewhere. Test it out on FX replay, cr collect data, get confident because it's a strategy like this that can really change everything for you. Um, so that's it for today's video, guys. 60% of you are not subscribed to the channel that are watching this right now. So do the damn thing and subscribe. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of your time and it really helps my channel. So thank you very much to all of my loyal viewers and those of you who are about to subscribe right now. Thank you very much. Um, I will see you in future videos, everybody. Please let me know in the comments what you thought about this. And if you have any questions, let me know. Remember to join the Telegram group as well. That is down below. It's completely free and I'm sharing every single trade that I take in that Telegram group down below. Make sure you join. Cheers, everybody. I will see you in the next video. But she don't love me, she's too scary